365 días después, Elizabeth Mandlick regresó a Tampico determinada a mejorar la actuación hecha en el Abierto Tampico 2022, donde solamente llegó a la primera ronda. Una tenista que sin duda ha evolucionado enormemente en tan solo un año. Well, I remember getting the finals of doubles and I wanted to do some damage in singles and I'm doing that this year, so I'm happy. It feels great, I'm happy to be back. Everything's improved so much, the court, the people, and it's just, I'm so happy to be back. I've developed a lot in my head and I think also on my, on my game on court, trying to be more aggressive, take time away and being confident in myself. Not anything technically in my shots or anything, but more about understanding that type of player that I am and the type of player that hurts other players and not adjusting my game, but just knowing what's, what I'm good at. Yeah, it's made, it's made all the difference. I'm around other girls where they kind of struggle finding coaches or having the relationship with the, with the coach and getting along. And every single time that I'm able to just realize how lucky I am to have a coach like that it's it's important to be and to be with him reaching almost four years it's like an accomplishment you know and I we're strong so it's good yeah it makes me calm and makes me it, you know somebody that always has has your back and knows so much about the game as well so you always feel at peace a la oportunidad que tiene ante sí con el servicio Elizabeth Manlick yeah it's really important to me I mean I'm not like fully a clay court player and to be able to do that on clay, it gives me so much more confidence even for hard court and grass court. So it's really exciting for me. Yeah, it's very motivating to know that I can break top 100 and break that barrier. It's important to me. And if, even if I'm not in it right now, I'm right on the edge. So, but this, since I already did it one time, I know I can do it many other times. Of course, it's a goal for me to be in the Olympics to dream for anybody. So that's, I mean, that's, it's far. But I see it, and it's one of my goals. When I saw it, I was pretty impressed. I mean, it's a, not a WJ125 to me. It's more like a 250. It, the level's very high, and you know the court's very fast here. So it's 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 a good draw and good conditions for top players. Yeah, I mean, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody here, the staff, the organizers, tournament director, and everybody. Also, the Mexican fans, they support me, and I'm not Mexican, so I'm really grateful for that. But they do an amazing job to keep everybody happy and always just have a smile on their face. Aunque su eliminación en semifinales no la dejó satisfecha, Mandlik siguió cautivando al público del Abierto Tampico 2023 y seguramente podríamos verla en próximas ediciones. Para el Abierto Tampico... Soy Oscar Casanova.